G'day guys, welcome to my round 18 wrap up video for Supercoach. Um, you can see the score there, 2241. Trash. Um, and the rank is plummeting at a rapid pace. Um, but before we get into it, um, got a couple things to cover first. Uh, first of all, the Two Kings boys. Um, gonna do like each week just a wrap, like a, a burger review, so to speak. Uh, first one is the King Chaz Jr. burger for this week. Uh, young Charlie's a legend down there, so. Yeah, it's just a nice little junior burger, bit of beef, bit of American cheese and tomato sauce. If you're feeling a bit wild one day, chuck some chuck some uh, bacon on there and you're having a good time. So, um, but yeah, great little burger there. Um, just one off the menu. Next week will be a different burger review, but, yeah, it's just a nice little easy one to get you going. Again, jump on, give the boys a like. Uh, they're doing some great stuff, so get on the Two Kings Facebook page. Um, and then second of all, uh, I've got a mate. As you can see these shirts, got these little kidneys here, and on the back it says 22 percenter. Um, so a good friend of mine, he um, got some bad news uh, last year, um, he's in stage 4 kidney failure, and once he, f you know, did some research and stuff, he kind of found out that there's not a lot of people talking about um, the kidney disease, uh, so 22 percent means that's how much of his kidneys were functioning at 22%. Um, and eventually, it's going to drop over time. And once he gets down around the 15%, he, he's going to need dialysis and, and kidney transplants and stuff like that. But yeah, he found out that there's not a whole lot of people doing a lot of stuff to kind of raise awareness. So he's taken it on his hand. He's made these these cool shirts. There's a couple different designs. I've got the 22% of one. I just liked it. And there's another one that's got like Know Your Worth. I'm going to drop his, he's got an Instagram page. It's called Kidney Kyle. Uh, we really urge you to check it out. If you or someone you know has got some, um, yeah, kidney illnesses, um, go on and check it out. He's got um, ties with the Western Bulldogs and he's got um, a couple of those like people in the staff there that have got the shirts. He's going to start getting photos of people that are buying them and um, he's really trying to spread some awareness. So, it's definitely something to check out. It's pretty cool. It's such a good thing that he's doing. So I really recommend you. Yeah, I'll check. I'll chuck his link down to his Instagram. Just check it out. Check out um, his story and what he's really trying to do. So yeah, it's pretty big. It's a pretty good effort. So so yeah, he's selling these t-shirts. Um, I think they're like thirty bucks each, and they're yeah they're raising. It's non for profit. Like he doesn't make any money off it. The the thirty bucks covers the shirt getting made. And then the rest is donated to um, kidney awareness. So, yeah, definitely check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, those things. Um, yeah, just wanted to touch base with those two things. And, yeah, we'll get into the team now. And we'll uh, fucking, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm not happy. So I wanted to do a video Sunday night straight after, but I was full of emotions. Geelong got fucking wiped by Hawthorne. And as a Geelong supporter, there's nothing worse in this fucking planet you can go through than dealing with that i've got a couple of mates that are hawks and uh, you know, bucky one of the dudes down at two kings he didn't even really give me any guff to be honest but by the time he said something i'd copped enough so i bailed on the group chat just really cracked it trav another lad down at two kings um in a group chat with him and he said um just something about geelong kicking shit on the day and even that was enough to just make me crack it Gave him guff and I bailed on that group chat. So I feel a bit like an idiot right now. But um, Sunday night, so I left it. Didn't want emotions to take over. All day yesterday, I was like, I'm making a video, but I was still full of emotions. I was like, I sleep on it one more time. And if I'm still feeling the same on Tuesday, then I'm going to roll with it. Woke up today, still full of emotions. Still hating it. So let's just get into it. Um, back line was fucking ass cheeks, man. I'm really not happy with it at all. Jake Lloyd, yep, love that. 121, you'll be first on the team next year, mate, that's for sure. Shannon Hearn, give me a goddamn fucking break. Are you, are you serious? Like, you're just going to pull out with a calf last minute? You're that fucking old, it's not even funny. You use that face filter age app and it made you look fucking younger. That's how old you are. Spewing, calf could be three, two to three weeks. With your age, it's probably four to five years. So... Got to keep an eye on that. West Coast aren't letting much out, so I don't know what's going to go there. Nash had a big day in the VFL, so hopefully he can come back for some cover. 
fucking Rory Laird, are you fucking having a joke or what, mate? Like, 73, I'm not having that from you at all. You're fucking all-Australian for a reason, and you're going to come out and dish this shit up. I think you had plenty of disposal. It must have been shit, because 73, I'm not taking it. I'm not having it. I'm fucking over that. Tom Stewart, same thing. 50 games in, you're an all-Australian, and you're going to dish out 79s. The ball was that fucking in their forward line, Hawthorne's forward line, that many times. You should have scored 600. Uh, Daniel Rich was on 64, I think, with like a minute to go, and he kicks a goal and gets 30 super coach points. Don't know how that happens, but I'll take it. Sicily, 77. Um, ever since I've traded you in, you've been a fucking ball tugger, and you've just scored shit, and I'm not happy with it. Um, you took some good inset marks. When Tom Atkins busted... Jarman Impey's ACL, I thought you were going to punch him. I was kind of hoping you would so that you'd get suspended and I'd have to trade you, but you kept your call. Uh, so back line sucks. Um, yeah, furious about that. Midfields, Jack McRae, 120, just like clockwork for this bloke. He'll be he'll be picked again next year, even if he costs me 800 Gs. Lockie Neal, 98, take that for sure. Adzi Trelaw, 116, he's hitting his straps lately. He's hitting some good form. Uh, Patrick Cripps, current copper tag. Vice captain didn't work. I should have chucked it on Grundy, but I didn't. And here we are. Uh, Kennedy traded you in for um, Stephen Cornelio. And I don't know what the fuck is the go with me. But as soon as I trade someone in, they for the next week or two, they score their lowest. Like 87. I'm pretty sure, apart from that game he got injured, that's his lowest score for the year. Could be wrong with 94, 136, 113, 95, 110, 115, 118, 116, 68 when he got injured, 77. There you go, second last score. But look at the rest of them. And you're going to you're on 75 at three quarter time. Fuck you, give me a break. Mitch Duncan, 123. This guy's a god amongst men, I swear to God. Got plenty of the ball, used it well, kicked a goal. Can't ask for much more. These are the scores that I was hoping for when I traded him. I traded him in, he got the 86 and the 58, and then, yeah, the last two weeks have been unreal. So, stoked with that. Ben Cunnington was on 59 at three-quarter time, come out, had 10 touches and a goal in the last. Let's drag himself to a 105. Brett Bewley, 57. <sighs> Fuck that. Nat Fife, um, don't know if you're going to be back this week, but you costed me at the crucial time of the year. Gorn and Grundy, uh, what can you say? I'm not going to keep blowing their trumpet every week, but unreal. But I missed some captain scores there. Dunkley, 127, pick of the year. This bloke's a gun. Danger, 106. I think he scaled up 10 or 11 after the game, which is pretty handy. He was my captain, so I blew that. Travis Boak, 97. Yep, take it, Heaney. Get fucked. Tim Kelly, don't know what your deal is. Jez Cameron. This is the Jez Cameron we've all come to love. Six goals straight, 20 disposals, unreal. Probably won't see it again for the rest of the year, but I'll take that 134. But when Charles scored his 83, I was so, so tempted to swap Robbie Young onto the field for Jeremy Cameron and take Charles' score because I was like, oh, Jezza won't get 83. He's playing Collingwood. I don't think you've got that. Collingwood's back line's pretty solid. And... Their game finished. I didn't realize how close GWS's game was to Richmond's game. So I drove to work. And I was like, oh, I'll get to work, get in the car park, and I'll swap it over. Got to work, and the game had already started. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me now? Rah, rah. And I checked the quarter time. He was at, he was on like 40. So pretty happy that I didn't end up doing that swap. I would have lost 50 points and would have had a sad time. But yeah, oh, don't mean to trade him. Didn't mean that. I meant to swap him back on field. So I got one trade left. No money in the bank. Fingers crossed that everyone gets up. So this is the team that I'll be going in with this week. Oh, fucking swap on field, you butt pirate. So hopefully Hearn gets up and hopefully Fife gets up. If Fife doesn't get up, I've got Bewley as coverage. I'm hoping that he gets another gig. I'm going to chuck the emergency on Nash. I don't know, Rich with a fire and he's probably not going to get back in, but... Fingers crossed. And then, who have we got? Uh, yeah, Brody Grundy, vice-captain. I'm not making that mistake ever again. Uh, Cripps is not getting captained ever again. Who's gone play? Robbie, Mar uh, fella Marshall. Uh, Fife, uh, Geelong and Sydney. Sheet. I don't really like any other captain's choices. Gorn had a field day against uh, Grundy, so he probably could have a field day against... 
Um, Marshall. I don't really know. Who's Bulldogs playing? Free out Marvel. <sighs> Whoo! Let's go McRae. Grinding into McRae. I don't really care. The season's over. I've had enough. Um, I've had enough, to be honest. Uh, super coach can get fucked. Uh, donuts can get fucked. This game in general can get fucked. You can all get fucked. See you next week. Back home smoking legal. I got more slaps than the Beatles. Foreign shit running on diesel, dog. Playing with my name, that shit is lethal, dog.